During this presentation, the equation will appear on the left and the sample table will be on the right. Sensitivity is the ability of a test to identify individuals with a condition or a disease. It is calculated by dividing the number of true positives by the total number of people with the condition. Specificity is the ability of a test to identify individuals who do not have a particular disease. It is calculated by dividing the number of true negatives by the total number of people without the disease of interest. The positive predictive value is the proportion of positive test results that correctly identify people with the condition. It is calculated by dividing the number of true positives by the total number of positive tests. The negative predictive value is the proportion of negative test results that correctly exclude a condition. It is calculated by dividing the number of true negatives by the total number of negative tests. The positive likelihood ratio is the likelihood that an individual with a positive test actually has the condition being tested for. It is calculated by dividing the true positive rate, which is the sensitivity of the test, by the false positive rate. The negative likelihood ratio is the likelihood that an individual with a negative test actually does not have the condition being tested for. It is calculated by dividing the false negative rate by the true negative rate which is the specificity of the test. Relative risk is the probability of a condition occurring in one group of people in comparison to another. To calculate the relative risk, divide the incidence of the condition in the group of people who are exposed to a risk factor by the incidence of the condition in the group of people who are not. Relative risk reduction is a decrease in the probability that a condition will occur in one group of people in comparison to another. It is calculated by subtracting 1 by the relative risk. To calculate the relative risk, divide the incidence of the condition in a group of people who are exposed to a risk factor by the incidence of the condition in the group of people who are not. Attributable risk is the increase in incidence of a condition due to exposure to a risk factor. It is calculated by subtracting the incidence of the condition in individuals who are exposed to risk factor by the incidence of the condition in those who are not. Absolute risk reduction is the decrease in incidence of a condition or illness due to an activity, lifestyle modification, or therapy. It is calculated by subtracting the incidence of the condition in individuals in one treatment group, for example people who receive therapy 2, by the incidence of the condition in individuals in another group, in this case those who receive therapy 1. The number needed to harm is the number of people that need to be exposed to risk factor in order for there to be an increased morbidity in a single patient. Since it is the inverse of the attributable risk, the number needed to harm is calculated by dividing 1 by the difference in incidence of the condition in individuals who are exposed to risk factor by the incidence of the condition in those who are not. The number needed to treat is the number of people that would need to receive one therapy as opposed to another in order for there to be a decrease in morbidity in a single patient. It is the inverse of the absolute risk reduction and is calculated by dividing 1 by the difference in incidence of the condition in individuals who receive therapy 2 versus therapy 1. The odds of exposure amongst controls is the odds that an individual without a condition was exposed to a particular risk factor. It is calculated by dividing the number of people without a condition who were exposed to the risk factor by the number of people without the condition who are not exposed. The odds of exposure amongst cases is the odds that an individual with a condition was exposed to a particular risk factor. It is calculated by dividing the number of people with the condition who were exposed to the risk factor by the number of people with the condition who were not exposed. The odds ratio is the odds that a person with an illness or disease was exposed to a risk factor in comparison to a person without it. The odds ratio is calculated by dividing the odds of exposure in cases by the odds of exposure in controls.
Alternatively, you may calculate the odds ratio by dividing the product of A times D by the product of C times B. The false discovery rate is the proportion of positive test results that incorrectly identify a condition. It is calculated by dividing the number of false positives by the total number of positive tests. The false negative rate is the proportion of people with a condition that tested negative for it. It is calculated by dividing the number of people that incorrectly tested negative by the total number of people with the condition. The false submission rate is the proportion of negative test results that incorrectly exclude a condition. It is calculated by dividing the number of people that incorrectly tested negative by the total number of negative tests. The false positive rate is the proportion of people without a condition that tests positive for it. It is calculated by dividing the number of false positives by the total number of people without the condition. Incidence is the proportion of the population that develop a condition during a specified period of time. It is calculated by dividing the total number of new cases by the total number of susceptible people in the population. This value is then adjusted by dividing it by the length of the time period. Prevalence is the proportion of the population that have the condition. It is calculated by dividing the total number of people that have the condition by the total number of people in the population. Accuracy is the proportion of positive and negative test results that are correct. It is calculated by dividing the number of correct test results by the total number of tests conducted. Precision is the proportion of positive test results that are correct. It is calculated by dividing the number of true positives by the total number of positive tests. Informedness is the probability that a test will provide an informed prediction as opposed to a guess. It is calculated by adding the sensitivity to the specificity and then subtracting the sum by 1. Markedness is the probability that the presence of a condition will be ascertained by the test as opposed to by chance. It is calculated by adding the positive predictive value to the negative predictive value and then subtracting the sum by 1.